So, do you want to get everybody to make their boats look like yes. this? Le grand parti, on fera pas de cordel. On peut marcher si on a besoin dans l'eau. Donc, on évite un risque que la corde se prenne quelque part. Si tu deux mètres de corde de basse, ou si je suis en canot camping et que je vais avoir, je sais pas, moi, 10 mètres de corde, hein, ça va dépendre de la situation, ce qu'on fait. Là, on va s'adresser plus à l'eau vive ici, euh, tout le monde ensemble. Because two reasons. One, if I'm in a hole, you know, and I'm probably not happy to, you know, and the water's doing this, and if that cord comes out, it's around you, and if it was um, a steeper, hard creek. If I fall out of my boat, <laughs> I'm not worried about my boat. I need to get out. So the times that I would have to swim and tow it, I don't know, but maybe. There you go. Uh, I no longer put cords at the end. I've, never, I've, I've always said this, but I've never met anybody that it's happened to, and now I have. <laughs> We're good to go? Yeah. Où on va là, on a un sentier pour se rendre, on va faire un portage pour se rendre à l'endroit où on paguait, qui est une partie d'eau calme avec deux entrées d'eau qui ont du courant avec lesquelles on va travailler. Fait que si on verse, on est dans l'eau calme. On pourrait rouler aussi pour être sûr de se promener comme ça, puis je tiens le canot de l'autre à l'avant, puis on marche tous dans le sentier. Okay, uh, you guys just stay there. Come on over. You can just float in there and you're good. Okay, so I will apologize now. I will forget names like that. Um, you'll tell me and I will forget right away. But I will remember your paddling. We're gonna do uh, a little review. And then we'll move to the water, moving water. Everybody except for Steve, your stroke is too long. It's so long that by the time you finish the stroke, the canoe is whoo, gone. So I'm gonna get you to do, uh, I'll do a demonstration and I'll get you to do a circle. And then I will yell at you, shorter stroke. Looks like this, come sa.
Short strike. So, get your canoe moving, start the arc, and then short strokes. If you do a long stroke, your canoe will be... One, two, big one! After about three strokes, if your boat's not arcing, then you're going to have to go back and do a pry to make it go this way. Once you have that arc, then you need to paddle up here under the front. Because if you take a stroke back here, you're just going to kill the arc. So the question was, the question, um, why would I do the three strokes? If you want to do four strokes or two strokes, it doesn't matter. Just be aware to do any maneuver, the boat has to be arcing. You see the wave down here? As long as that wave is there, it's pushing my canoe that way. The faster I go, the bigger the wave. So if I'm scared, go fast. Because then I'll have a good solid wave to paddle against. If I'm going slowly, any little wind or wave will make the canoe do something and it doesn't work. Let's go to the moving water because that's more fun. And we're going to just go over there somewhere and do an O-turn and hopefully get into the moving water. Okay. Paddle, 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 yeah, nice. Instead of pulling the bow so much, just put your paddle closer in under the boat. Short stroke, short, short, quick, quick. the river because you got to be that close but pointed up that way offside pull 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 tilt tilt pull pull keep paddling paddle 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 yeah go out on this wave we'll start like you're surfing and then just let it go because the wave will give you speed and help you get across
Point up river. Up. Come back. You were like this. You want to be up here. This will pull your boat that way. This will just make it turn. Get down to the takeout. 